The Metropolitan Sewer District of Greater Cincinnati provides wastewater collection and treatment services to 800,000 people in the Greater Cincinnati area. MSD provides a critical public health uh, service as a wastewater utility. In the, um, in the last month and a half, we've been working with and partnering with US EPA as well as, well as other utilities, um, but in particular with US EPA and the partnership they have with the Center for Disease Control to try to get ahead of what could uh, you know, they be doing as US EPA to help CDC respond to and prepare for this pandemic as well as others in the future too. MSD, in collaboration with the U.S. EPA Office of Research and Development, is kicking off a study of coronavirus in wastewater. MSD will be taking our influent wastewater samples from our seven major wastewater plants, and we intend to do that approximately once a week at the outset of this study. Our seven major plants are located throughout the county. We have three on our east side of our county, and three on the west side and our largest facility here at Mill Creek, which serves the central part of Hamilton County. We'll be conducting national research, but centered here at Cincinnati. We take samples routinely using composite samplers. We take samples throughout a 24 hour period based on the flow to the plant. Those samples are grabbed by a pump and deposited in a central composite jug and then delivered to our laboratory for splitting and analysis. And then we've got the composite samples that were dropped off by the uh, treatment plant operator that were collected for over a 24 hour period. The research lab in Cincinnati is the largest uh, water-related research uh, lab within the Office of Research and Development, so it was a natural place for this to happen. We've been interested in looking at wastewater uh, for a long time, both the contaminants in wastewater, but we've been particularly interested in looking at wastewater as a tool for looking at community public health, so what's called wastewater-based epidemiology. When this issue came up, it seemed like a very good place to apply some of the questions there. And then it, we discussed, uh, had early discussions with CDC, who was interested in, in this aspect of, of the, the COVID-19 situation. So it really rapidly evolved as the pandemic kind of broke in February and, and March, where there was a lot of discussions between folks in CDC and EPA, as well as a, a number of reports in the literature from researchers from across the country and the world. So we really, you know, it, it, that was what drove uh, the, the research. Over the next four to six weeks, we're working closely with MSD on analyzing samples from the systems here in Hamilton County. And then uh, hopefully at that point, within about the middle of June, our plan is to then expand and really develop a pilot monitoring effort of about 20 sites. And then work closely, with, again, with the public health agencies about targeting what kind of information is really going to guide their decisions where in the sewer, what sewers to, to monitor is most effective for, for their decision making. We think that this tool for, for wastewater monitoring may be a good leading edge or, or leading indicator of rising infection. So if you could monitor areas like that, a building or a, a at-risk community or population, you might be able to see a rising level of infection before you see a confirmed cases because of the, the high level of asymptomatic uh, people that are typically associated with this disease. As research scientists, I think the, the information that we produce, uh, we expect to put it out there in the, in the peer-reviewed scientific literature so that others can gain knowledge about what we've learned. But I think as important, and that's typically the main focus of a lot of what we do, but in this case, it's equally important to really try to 
to uh, provide this data to the decision makers, to the users, i.e. the public health agencies. So our plan is, one of the reasons why we targeted the number of, say, 15 to 20 sites, is so that we can not only just process samples, but turn them around so they're available in real time. So every week when we go back out to take another sample, we have the data from the previous week already analyzed and available for, for uh, evaluation. And we're really excited here at MSD to be a part of this study. Uh, we're really looking forward to this collaboration with both the US EPA and the CDC and to help the US um, with understanding and responding to the coronavirus.